All right, for the stove, we're going to try and engrave the burner tops. So let's give it a try. Change the bit because that other one wasn't doing any good. So I got a regular little, um, what's it called? A high speed. It's a carving and engraving bit. We need a stove for our new kitchen. So here's the back. Here's the top shelf. These will be the two side pieces. That the front will sit on. This is the bottom piece. And I just engraved the top piece. I don't have measurements because I just kind of made it the size I wanted. I wanted a very large stove. And I just went from there with the measurements. I'm going to paint it all flat back. I think... I think maybe I should actually. So what we're going to do now, what we're going to do now is tape or er, glue this all together. And then once the glue is dry, we will go ahead and paint it. So let's see, this will go on here like that. Well, Let's see how well everything dried. You know, I was just looking at this thing and it doesn't much matter how very, very carefully I measure and everything, nothing fits the way I want it to. I don't get it. Came off pretty easy. Okay, so this can go up here. This can go down here. So we can put these two here, this one for the ash door, this one for the wood, and we're going to have to clean that up a little bit to get that. And the little door down there, and the big wood door there. I think, and then we're going to paint that, of course. So let's go ahead and glue our newly placed doors. So we'll put that one there. And I think we'll need to clamp this down because it's pretty bold. other side down. That should be fine. 
fine. Let's go ahead and glue these on. Let's see which one is the bigger one. All right. So this one will go down there. And we'll stick that right like that. And we'll stick this one above it. That looks pretty good. Now what we need to do is my shelf. And I've lost my shelf. My clean workstation. I've lost my shelf. Now oh, we can use this. So this is going to go on the top like that. I think that'll work pretty good. So let's go ahead and put some glue on here and here across the back. Put our shelf on. Something like this. That works. Now I need to come up with some kind of a clamp. A big enough clamp. We got the clamps on it. The shelf is on. And making this, I used these the old pieces from the dollhouse. And I used these big leftover chunks of wood here as lumber. That might ex that might explain why. No matter how careful I am at measuring, nothing fits. I don't know. Like I said at the beginning of the channel, it's good enough for me. You know, I just, like I, I don't know if we need to, right here, if we should take our Dremel and sand this part down to make a little decorative side once it's all dried. That might look kind of nice. So this would be all cut out right here. All right, now I think we're going to create our pattern. Right there is the top. So, I think we'll go like that. Draw a line around our disc. And there's the part we're going to cut out. All right, let's see what happens. So the last you guys saw, I was trying to get the, the patterns on the sides cut out using the Dremel, and that was not working at all. So I resorted to this. And then once I got the pieces cut out, I sanded or filed them down. And I think it turned out pretty good. I like the designs on the side. It gives it a little bit of class. I, I think it turned out pretty good for the troubles I was having with it. 
stops for the pots are engraved. Doors do not open, but I think it turned out satisfactory. It's a wood stove. It's made out of iron. <laughs> and I think it'll cook lots of meals just fine. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a great afternoon. I'll see you again. <laughs> Bye.